What is dry socket? I get that question a lot. Dry socket is no fun, I'll tell you that. Um, it's also pretty common when it comes to, to extractions, especially lower wisdom teeth. And everybody's heard about it, everybody knows of a guy that had a bad dry socket experience. It's what scares a lot of people away from having their wisdom teeth taken out or what makes them nervous when they, when they need some sort of extraction done. Well, dry socket is um, when the tooth comes out, just like if I cut my arm and I'm gonna have a scab form on my arm, a scab forms where the tooth came from too, but we don't call it a scab in the mouth, we call it a blood clot. It fills up where the tooth used to be and it firms up over the course of a day or two and it sits there and it starts the normal healing process. What a dry socket is, is once that clot's there, it gets dislodged somehow. The most common reason is smoking. Somebody goes home and they smoke a cigarette. Not only is it the, the toxins in the actual smoke, but it's the suction of pulling on the cigarette. So the same thing can happen if you use a straw for a few days right after an extraction. We really encourage you do not use straws. So you know if you go get a milkshake or a smoothie or something afterwards, that's great. Just eat it with a spoon because that heavy suction when you're pulling on a straw can dislodge that blood clot. Also, if it's in the first 24 hours or so of your surgery, after your surgery, you don't wanna do any heavy rinses, heavy spitting, heavy swishing. If you feel gross or something after you've had your wisdom teeth out, that's fine and okay and normal. Just get a wet washcloth and wipe out your mouth instead of rinsing and spitting for that first day or so. Let that clot firm up. It's just like if you sat there and picked that scab on your arm over and over, it's never gonna heal right. So when that clot dislodges, if it does, we've got exposed bone in there and that hurts like crazy. It's no fun, it's really unpleasant and it lasts for about two weeks. And there's not a lot of treatment to be done for it. Yes, you can come in and we can put kind of a, a medicine down in there and we can give you painkillers and things like that. We can numb you up, but who wants to come back to have us poke around in the thing that really hurts? No one wants to get another injection. We really prefer not to give you a bunch of painkillers on top of the ones you're already taking. You know, we, we can avoid these things if you follow our instructions, but there's also a couple uh, really helpful things that we do here we try to go above and beyond on your average extraction here, which, um, you know, I try my best to give everyone a very easy extraction experience and a, and a dry socket is not an easy experience. So one of the things we do is uh, we place what's called platelet rich fibrin. Make sure you watch my PRF video where I go into more detail about that, but it's a, it's a preformed blood clot formed from your own blood, blood that's very easy and um, it, it basically jump starts the whole healing process and it really, really lowers your chance of having a dry socket. So it's very, very helpful. We find that folks have a really good experience when we do that and we do that routinely here. Uh, the other thing that we can do is is if it's a tooth that we're planning on putting back, so it's not a wisdom tooth, but it's say a molar over here that we wanna put back, a lot of times what we'll do is we'll do um, a socket or a site preservation bone graft, meaning the tooth comes out, we fill that right away with bone to give us a really good chance at an implant shortly thereafter. And what that does is that is now filled up that socket so you can't get a, a, a dry socket. We've already covered it and protected it so we can keep you from having that experience. So. And that's that's a little background on dry socket. We have a really good track record with all those little tips and tricks that I just gave you uh, of not really experiencing many of those around here. So uh, don't sweat it. Come talk to me and I can put you at ease because that's something that we're pretty much getting rid of.